there's an evil that surrounds this place. It leaks out in every direction. When you enter the House of Furies, you do not leave alive. Putting two feet of air between you and the ground feels like being a superhero. Like you're not bound to the earth like other people are. Feels like you're flying. This is freedom. An escape from the feelings and thoughts about my mama's death and being separated from my brother and sisters. About having to move to a new city I ain't never even been to before. But my brain's turning on something else. On the prospect of being a bad guy. I don't feel like one, but maybe that's what all bad guys think. I've heard how some gangs around use dirt bikes to move drugs, to do drive-bys, but that's not us. We're trying to transcend. Because breaking through barriers helps others see what can be done. If we shatter our limitations, maybe people will see that they can shatter their own. Trayvon Martin, Michael Brown, Akil Williams, and thousands more you never even heard of, much less cared about. Black men die in America every day. We fly for them. It's how you go beyond what you've got. It's how you become something more than just skin and bones. I take it in how far I've come to go from Colorado Springs to the top of one of the tallest buildings in Baltimore in a matter of months. How nothing else matters now. Not the flags or the websites, only this, only jumping. And for that time, I'm not gray. I'm not a Monroe. Or even what's left of a Duffy. I'm just air. I was designed to deceive you. You will believe I am fragile. You will think I am docile, easy to control. But try and hurt the one I am bound to protect, and you will meet the most ruthless force in the galaxy. You will die. My name is Nemesis. I am a diabolic.